questions? <laughs> Well, I think uh, with, the, with the youth back there, just their maturity, you know, getting the game under their belt, uh, being a little more familiar uh, that first week, they saw a lot of things that, that were new and really didn't get, get an opportunity to look at because the uh, first opponent changed their offense a little bit against us. I think this week, uh, you know, they were, from a preparation standpoint, they had a better idea what they were going to see. And I think one game under their belt, typically you show the most improvement from week one to week two. And I, I think certainly that was the case with our defense. I guess some of those guys like Andre, Jamil, how important was it to see them struggle and then be able to recover from that within a game, not not let mistakes, you know, kind of kind of well, I think big time. I think with, with young kids, especially young kids in the secondary, you know, you, you get you get beat once, you know, uh, it takes a it takes a while to realize that hey, I gotta go to the next play and that's we challenged our whole defense as far as hit, let's go to the next play. You know, in college football these days, people are gonna make big plays. We just got to go on to the next play. And I think that was evident uh, Saturday night a couple times, especially late in the, uh, uh, in the game when we uh, had the goal line stand. You got a lot of plays to help win the game. Let me ask you about a couple that didn't go as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the one time Devontae looked like he let a, a, a receiver go, and Jamil, he thought he had help over the top. Was that just a communication? He, he, he did have help over the top. I think Jamil is a, uh, you know, being a young guy, this was really the first uh, opportunity. He didn't play a lot at the uh, safety position. Certainly played a lot of nickel for us in the past, but a safety position. So uh, just had his eyes in the wrong spot and, uh, you know, came back and made up for it a little later. And this is a broader question. Mm -hmm. You guys had a lot of blitz packages, a lot of things that helped put pressure on the quarterback. Uh, some of them were well disguised, some were not. There was one time when uh, Ben kind of tipped the, time, tipped the blitz and they read it. Sure. Can you talk about that a little bit? You know, when sometimes when you see something tipped early, do you try to adjust? I think, I think the biggest thing with this opponent was, uh, you know, they were pretty good at, at the quarterback checking the plays. And so a lot of times, you know, we'll have the opportunity to, to, to check out of it. Other times, in that particular case, even though we, we still had a shot to make the play right at the, at the yard mark, and so we just didn't make the play there. But we tell our guys a lot of times if, if, they're, if they're tipping their blitz and they get up there, uh, we'd rather have them just stay up there and go than try to go back and get out of their disguise and be going backwards when the ball snap. Well, I think, uh, you know, we certainly, uh, for our kids, just... You know, from week to week, you know, we're going to have different ways to, to pressure the quarterback. And uh, we've got to do a good job as far as in this day and age, uh, offenses check with me. Offenses can, can be able to ide identify quarterbacks, especially veteran quarterbacks like the one we're playing this week, are able to identify pressure. So we got to do a good job being able to, uh, you know, teach our guys you know, how to hold it as long as they can. Chris Oliver's been pretty opportunistic at this point. Can you just talk about his first two games? Well, I, obviously, Marcus, uh, I think, through his first 15 games in college, had had five, uh, I think, forced fumbles. And so, you know, for him, uh, he had a big, uh, I think he had a big fumble recovery, I believe. But he also, he's the guy that really impacted the interception. I mean, he's the guy that, that hit the quarterback and, and uh, you know, so he impacted that last play, Jamil's touchdown, as much as anybody. But he's been a guy that, uh, coming off that knee injury, you know, was a little slow. Obviously, didn't go in the spring, but uh, you know, has really played a lot of reps in the first game and uh, in the second game. You know, he's starting to play like we really thought he could when we recruited him. Back, what, what does that do with those two guys? Well, I think what it does it just adds another dynamic player in there. Uh, T Tigre probably is from an athletic standpoint our most athletic inside backer. So uh, teams have spread it out a lot, and, and a lot of the teams we're going to play coming up the next three or four weeks, and especially our opponent this week, it, it'll be great to have T. Gray Scales, his speed, his abil ability to pressure. You know, it'll be nice to have him back on the field. And they both Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Marcus, Marcus is uh, – Coach Inge talks about guys that can steer the, steer the, steer the ship out there. And Marcus Oliver, T.J. Simmons – Guys uh, that are pretty experienced and played a lot of football are guys that steer can steer the defense, and and so Marcus can play both my, uh, both the Mike and Will backer. So you know, certainly we could have any combination of those guys on the field. Is there an art to being? Uh, 
Pardon me? Well, I think the one thing with Western, if you, if you look at their roster, you got a, a six-year quarterback, very talented, one of the talent, most talented quarterbacks in the country. He's been in their system for a number of years. Uh, most of their most of their offense is very experienced players. This is a group that's won a lot of football games. They beat a lot of people, went to bowl games, and won. And so, from an offensive standpoint, I I know they're very experienced in all all phases. Um, you know, obviously, they they lost their running back, but they you know they got a very talented one behind him. So. From the receiver position, the tight end was up. I think had the Mackey Award, I guess, recipient for week uh, week two. So, from an offensive standpoint, it's a very talented group. Well, I think he's he's really made some strides, uh, and he and he finished up last year a real solid. You know, I thought he was a very solid player finishing up and. TJ is a very self-driven guy, and, and so I think we can push him as much as, you know, he's going to try to uh, play better each week, become a better player. You know, he's very, uh, he's very conscious of his trade and what, what, you know, what kind of backer he's going to become, and so he's a guy that we can continue to push and, uh, you know, really be a leader out there uh, from a linebacker position. A lot of our leaders right now are up front, older guys, but we need TJ and Marcus and guys at the linebacker position to step up from leadership role out there. Is there an art to be in a, 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 I guess you talked about Marcus's involvement in a lot of turnovers in his career. Is there an art to be in a guy that's always there? Is it something to just maybe getting a guy to believe that he's good at it and that gets him into the position? I, I, th I think we, we've often in years had turnover drills and, and you know, when we went back through and did a study, it's just uh, some players have a knack for it. And we, we talk about, you know, whether it's getting to the ball, talk about proper tackling techniques and I think those are those are areas rather than just specifically work and strip drills those are the things that uh, I think makes Marcus when he's around the ball he's always in a good tackling position with his eyes up driving through it and uh, you know, typically he's he's got a, he's got himself close to the ball when he's making those tackles Well, I think, you know, we preached all last week that uh, we need to be more aggressive and, and attack more. And I, and I think especially up front, Ralph Green was very disruptive. Uh, you know, sometimes his penetration would knock off pullers. He was able to, to knock, I think he knocked down the first pass of the game. We've got some big bodies, Darius and, and Ralph are, are 6'3 plus and guys that, uh, you know, I think we batted three, maybe four passes down. So to be, to be disruptive uh, in their backfield plus to be – you know, a target to throw over. You know, it's uh, you know, that's what we're we're looking for. Well, is it, especially for young guys, to in terms of building confidence and competitiveness, to make decisive plays at the end of close games. You've seen that in the first two weeks now. Well, I think if for us as coaches, it's exciting to see the young guys do that. Yeah, because you know, you're always concerned about a young guy, especially a freshman, that uh, is out there and maybe makes a mistake in the, in the, in, earlier in the game. You know, how's that going to affect them throughout? And see Jamil Cook and see Andre Brown and see Jonathan Crawford continue to develop and play. And, and Devontae Williams. Devontae Williams started as a true freshman. So those are guys that need, you know, we're going to have uh, bumps in the road with some of the young kids, but watching them develop and watch Coach Shelby and Coach Joseph work with them has been, uh, you know, it's exciting to see what we're going to see down the road. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, obviously for our guys, uh, you know, they, 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 you know, last week was pretty rough on them, you know, after that first week performance on all of us. And so to see us be able to, to step up and you know, get a couple turnovers back in there, in, deep in, inside the 20, be able to make a play at the end of the game, score a touchdown, I think those are, those are things we expected to be able to do this year and to be able to, to see those happen. Hopefully our guys will, will continue to, to play with that kind of effort and, and Make impact plays. All right. Thank you. Thank you.